Hi Patriots, it's Mrs. Hall here and I have a fun dessert for you. Sometimes I just really need a sweet treat but I don't have time to bake. So I found this recipe and it's a cake in a coffee mug and I thought I'd share it with you today. And it's super simple. So let me show you how you start. The first thing you do is you get your tablespoon, you're pretty much gonna use it the whole time and you're going to add three tablespoons of flour straight in your coffee mug. And you don't have to grease it or anything and it will have oil in it and that will help it not stick to your mug. So I'm adding three tablespoons of flour to my mug. And then you're gonna add three tablespoons of sugar. So the exact same amount of flour and sugar go right in your mug. And then you keep that tablespoon handy because you're gonna add two tablespoons of cocoa powder. So there's one and two. And then you will have to change it up for this. You need baking powder to help your cake rise like it would if you were baking it in the oven. And to do that, we use baking powder, but we only need a fourth of a teaspoon of baking powder. So I'm gonna add that in. And then just a pinch of salt. And so some people have like little pinch um, spoons, but I, sorry about that, just use a pinch with my fingers, okay? So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna mix up those dry ingredients and you need to mix them really well because you want that baking powder to be distributed in all of the dry ingredients. So I'm just using a fork, but if you have like a small whisk, you could use that, but a fork works really well. Um, so just mix it, mix it, mix it really, really well. I think that looks good. Then you're gonna put the wet ingredients right in the mug too. So you only have to use one dish, which makes cleanup really nice. So get your tablespoon back out, and you're gonna pour in three tablespoons of milk. I think any kind of milk will work, but this is just regular milk, so there's one two and three tablespoons of milk. Then you're gonna add two tablespoons of vegetable oil. So that goes right in and that will help um, it not stick to your mug. It's really neat what it looks like when it comes out. And then you're gonna add a little bit of vanilla extract, about a half of a teaspoon. I just pour mine in, but you can measure yours out. And the last thing which makes your chocolate cake stay moist um, and it kind of melts in it is um, chocolate chips. And you're gonna add three tablespoons of chocolate chips. So there's one, two, and three. And so you're just gonna stir in your wet ingredients to combine, so get everything mixed in and it should look like a batter when you get done, like a cake batter would look. I'll try to show you what mine looks like. Just mix it up. And see how it looks like a batter and then you're gonna put it in your microwave and the best thing about this it only takes 90 seconds so I'm gonna set my microwave for 90 seconds and start it okay so it's been 90 seconds and this is what your cake will come out looking like Let's see doesn't it look just like a chocolate cake? Now, the only important part is you have to let it rest for two to three minutes because it will be super hot and those chocolate chips are really warm in there. So just let it cool if you can wait. And then after just a couple of minutes, the last thing you have to do is take a big bite and enjoy. Bye guys, miss you.